Hello friends, today we're going to try Redline Ultimate Racing. Now this game will be out in about two days. It's a game by Simpro Studios and when I first heard about it I was really excited about it. It's kind of an interesting concept to me, however it's a little bit different when it actually got a hold of it than I thought it was going to be. And we're going to see if that's a good thing or a bad thing. And we're going to play it for a bit. I don't know how long this see this this game's going to last. Uh, I, I don't know how many seasons there are. I don't know what the playability is on it. I have not checked it out yet. So we're going to check it out together and see what it is. It has a pretty kicking sound intro. I decided not to start so I could tell you about it a little bit before we got started. Uh, Redline Ultimate Racing is not a racing sim. Well, it's not a driving sim. It's a team management sim. And that's actually what I was hoping it was going to be. So that actually makes me really happy. So I like the, uh, like the Fantasy Racing League style that it comes in. And the developers seem very encouraged and very very interested in pushing it forward so that is definitely a plus and I've actually been meaning to try to play this for a while since I got the key uh, I'm currently playing the beta version however it is honestly a pain to record this game so I had to set up a special a whole bunch of special settings to get it set up and uh, we'll see how it goes so let's fire it up And as you can see, it's got a pretty cool intro. But this is pretty much the size of the window that you see when the game starts. I'm capturing just the window. I have not yet figured out how to take it out of windowed mode yet. So this is kind of how it is. Uh, I also can't turn off sound at this point. So we're gonna start a new team. Looks like you can load a, universal fi a universe file, but these are not implemented yet. We're going to do normal skill because we don't really know how to play yet. Um, I was going to opt for no deaths, but deaths are a part of racing, so we kind of got to leave those in there. And we're going to start with a 500k instead of 2 million because we don't want to be rich boys. And we move from that great menu with all that great sound to this menu with no sound. And we're in the 2017 season, week one. So I guess we can, this is my office. Here you can access information and management functions, view our financial status and start races. So the next race is the Downey 200, the Mes Mesquite, who's that? Yeah, Mesquite Motor Speedway. And it's Super Speedway at 1 p.m. There's our schedule. Looks like we've got a lot of races. So that's awesome. 36 races in the season. Uh, let's get a driver. Do we have a driver? I think we need to hire a driver. So you got several factors that come into play, which are, looks like uh, age, driving, aggressiveness, strat. It's not telling me what those are when you hover over them. Stamina, con, which we see is like constitution. A lead, I'm not sure what that is. Charisma, maybe. Luck. Super speed. In term. Short in road. I can't pick any of these. This allows you to view the CPU driver's ratings, which per permits you to track their development. So I guess as they go up, they... Or as the race progresses, they increase in skill. So let's look at our drivers. Double click on a drivers, or if you recruit them to our team, you can have four drivers at any one time. So we're doing some shorter races, so we probably want, look at this guy. He's 26, seems very aggressive. I, I, I don't know if that's a good thing. There's very little stamina though. 
He's not very lucky. But he seems to be pretty fast. So let's let's start with Mickey Martinez. Can we recruit him? Okay, we recruited Mickey Martinez. It says we can have four. So let's see if we can pick some more. And we have 424,000 to go, so we're going to have to get Grover Perry because he's cheap. And Kevin, Kelvin Klein. And uh, let's get Julio. Julio Brooks. No, he has terrible driving. Let's pick a good driver. If we pick Tom, Tomas Lamb, it's going to use most of our remaining money. So can we sort these? No, we cannot sort by a field, so that's that's a downside. So we got 87. Can we beat an 87 without getting too bad? They're not that far off. It's 38. He's actually more than that one. Okay, Daryl Lawson. I like Daryl. Daryl's a good guy. We'll go with Daryl. All right, so crew chiefs. Uh, we have to hire crew chiefs too, and we're already running low on money. Knack for getting the most out of his driver. We just need one. So we'll go with uh, Dar Dar Darwin Silva. Setup, strategy, loyalty. I guess high loyalty would be good because we, we don't know what we're doing. This guy would probably be ideally who we would go through. But we're gonna go. We're gonna go with Darwin. Hopefully, we don't get any Darwin awards. Our garage, and we do have five cars. Uh, no, we don't. We have to buy five cars. You can only have two cars in your fleet at any one time, so you have to buy two cars. So that one's got good engine, really crappy chassis. Good aerodynamics, but it's uh, got good reliability. It just has a poor chassis. Not sure how the chassis plays into it, but I'm thinking aerodynamics and reliability are pretty important too. So let's let's get number five. Pretty cool looking car. Can we? It's our options. Repair costs. Okay. And uh, let's pick a ringer here. We'll go with this one, the one that had the uh, the good aerodynamics and the good reliability. Okay, so we got our two cars. Now we're not going to do any R and D because we're running out of money. Got some sponsors that are interested. That's that's good. They're not there yet, but they're interested. Darwin's going to race. Spent three hundred fifty thousand dollars. So let's start a race and see how that goes. How do we start a race? Got our controls here. This saves the game. That turns on and off the sound, and this exits the game. Okay, that's not getting me anywhere. This is very intuitive as far as how to begin a race. Nobody has any stats. Missing part of the window. Schedule? No, that doesn't seem to do it. Got our drivers. OK, 
Okay, we get help for the drivers. Okay, so this explains what the statistics are. Salary, driving skill, aggressiveness, strategy. That's what strat is. Okay, race's ability to make moves at the right time and plan during a race. Stamina is physical endurance. Con is consistency. So it's, uh, it's performance from race to race. Lead is leadership. Charisma is attracting sponsors. Luck, avoiding breakdowns, crashes, and bad events. Super speedway, handle the bigger tracks. Intermediate, so interim is intermediate. Handle one mile cookie cutter intermediate tracks. Short track road course. And we are on a intermediate super speedway. So intermediate super speedway. So Mickey would be the ideal choice. Okay, so Mickey is doing the driving. I don't know. Okay, Darwin is doing the fixing. We only got one crew chief, so we're good there. Okay, it's a super speedway. Still can't find a way to start the race. Do you need to pick a car? Garage. That's probably what we're missing. Um, let us pick that one. Okay. Oh. Okay, so we can't play the race in early access. But we can simulate the race. Okay, we came in 32nd and qualifying and 19th in the race. So we led a lap. I guess it's still running. 26 points made $17,000. Kind of like some pro sports stuff, you can export the results to a tab delimited file so you can keep them and save them and see how you did. Look at the accidents and the broken cars. This guy's rear axle blew out. This guy, accident, 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 accident. It's pretty funny you can blow out your rear axle and still get $1,250. Can't do anything with these guys. Okay, we can finish it. 200 laps at the super speedway, and we got 26 points. And we did lead a little bit, so that was good. Okay, so driver development, crew chief development. No driver injury. We gotta do some car R and D maybe. Boom. So we have to build a hundred. So we want we want some chassis. I mean go there at dynamics, want some reliability. And if we get most of those were like I wonder if we can improve it. Okay, it's gonna build the car. So let us go to the next race, which is the Klein Computers 300 at Huntsville Motor Speedway. It's a short track. Albert Price raises arms of victory as he nabbed the checkered flag in the Downey 200 in a well-fought week one of the season. Keep the same driver. Uh, this is a 
Kind of wish you could get more details about the actual track. I wonder if you can. Short track. So we want our short track guy. So shorts. Which is still Mickey Martinez. So Mickey is still our man. Ooh, blew out the rear axle. Got four points. Not good at all. Got to 126.706 miles per hour, though. Okay, so our crew chief went up. Our car durability went way down. So we're going to have to go into our garage. We're going to have to... Crew works in the car and pairs some of the wear on it. Gains 17% durability on this car. We'll use the other car this time. Okay, and this is another short track. So I'm, I'm thinking our short guy is still Mickey. Ah, oh, we had an accident. Oh no, we got eight points and $2,000. And he slowed down in that one. He, he only did 116 miles per hour. Okay. No injury, though. But we're going to have to repair. Got our car back up to 96%. Ooh, went down. So. 14%. Okay, there we go. We'll leave car number two alone for now, because we're running out of money. We need to win a race. And we crashed. Okay, that's not a good sign. Are we back? We're back. Okay, we are nowhere to be seen. What do we got for cars in our garage? Okay, we'll, we'll take the 98% one. Uh, we're at the Downey 200, so I guess we're starting over because I think that was the first one. And that's a super speedway. So let's look at our drivers. Let's find our super speedway guy, which is uh, Grover. Grover is our super speedway guy. So we will... Set Grover is our driver. Grover, come on over. Our crew chief. He's our only one, so we can't pick another one. Uh, let's start the race. And uh, we came in 28th. We completed 195 laps out of 200. And we got 16 points and $6,500. Not great but better than these guys. And our people went up some skill. Crew chief didn't do anything. Our car lost 4% durability, but we had no accidents. Okay, so the Klein Computers 300 is a short track race. So let's pick our driver, our shorty. Which I'm pretty sure is Mickey. We need to go in here and pick our car. So we need a fast engine. Because it's a short race. Simulate the race. 37th. <clears throat> short track, 300 laps. We ran 283. Got 7 points, $2,000. We went up some skill. We lost 3% of our durability. I think this is another short track. It is another short track. So let's check our drivers. And our short guy is still Mickey Martinez. No one has surpassed him. Let's go back to this car. 
Okay, let's simulate the race. 383 laps. We led a lap. That's a good sign. And we got 13 points and $4,500. Not bad at all. We still finished over the accidents and the breakages. We got some uh, skill gains, it looks like. Some impressive ones, too. Crew chief didn't go up. But a car durability went down by 9%. No injuries. Okay, let's switch to the other car. Back up to 100%. That's what I like to see. Alright, so the Fargo 200 is an intermediate. So we need our intermediate guy. In term, which is Mickey again. So Mickey seems to be our strong point here. So we're going to put Mickey in. Simulate the race. And the car overheated. So we came in dead last. But we still got three points. Is our crew chief doing anything? It's our car... Ooh, that hurt it. 17%. Uh, that took some cash. All right, switch back up to that one. Camping Universe 500 at the Roseville International Speed Track. Speedway. Camping Universe. Doesn't quite look like that. Short track. So we need our short track guy. I guess it is. Universe. I look like an A. Shorty is Mickey again. Let's see if Mickey can do it without killing the car this time. He can finish the race. Got 19 points. Completed 495 out of 500 laps. And got $7,500. Got some skill, too. Okay, Cyclops Industries 150. She's a super speedway, so we need her super guy. Superman. Which is apparently Grover Perry. So we'll put Grover in. And I'm not taking into account their other skills. They could definitely have other skills. I'm just picking the one who would be best suited for the track. I'm curious to see what the season's over. Do we keep the same guys? Do we start a new season? All right, simulate the race. 22. Finished 150 of 150 laps. Got 22 points and $10,000. That worked out well. And these guys got some extra skills. That's awesome. Lost 8% durability on the car, though. Got 15% back. An accident in the garage causes damage. We lost another 4%. Got 12% back. Man, that's unfortunate. Okay. So the Lacey 150 is a road course. So Kelvin Klein is a road guy. 81. We may do pretty well this time. Let's find out. See if it makes any difference whatsoever. He's got a good car. He's got the skill. He should be able to get in there and do it. And we're still pumping in at 22. But we finished all 150 laps. We got 22 points and $10,000. Bonner Ice Cream 300, which is a short track. Let's get our short track guy. Which is Mickey. Let's run it. Oh, man. For all his skill, Mickey's not doing too good. 29th. Only finished 288 laps of 300. But we got 15 points. He didn't lead at all. Got $6,000. That is unfortunate. 
And another road course. So we'll get that Kelvin business going on. Okay. Kelvin, you better do something good. 113,690. Oh, Kelvin was in an accident. Got 2,000. Car lost 24% durability. And we lost money for being in the race because it's now it's 109,619. Switch to the other car for a minute. And this is a super speedway. So who's our super speedway guy? That would be Grover. And it stopped working again. This is the beauty of beta games. I'll tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to leave this as an introduction to the game so the basic concepts and principles can be out there because I'm not finding any videos about this game. I like what I see so far. Now that we're finding out what things mean, we probably would have been better off choosing some other drivers than what we did because I was looking at the wrong stats and assuming they were other things. But once I found the help file, it makes more sense. Um, I'm not going to go into any theory on it because I'm not exactly sure. But I'm going to wait for the game to, uh, to come out on the 9th, and then we'll try it again on the 9th after if there's a patch and see if the patch makes any difference. I like the concept. I like the gameplay. I like the depth of the game. I like what it has. I just don't like the fact that it crashes every fifth or sixth race, it seems. Um, so I'm going to end this video here because of the technical issues of the early beta version that I'm running. But don't hold the crashes against the game because the game is not probably entirely at fault. This is not a release copy of the game. Any problems you see are basically just due to the growing pains of extreme early access and the fact that the game isn't even out yet. So, uh, I will put a link to the game in the description. We're going to come back to this in a couple of days. I'm hoping there's a patch for it that, that cleans up some of these crashes and errors. Uh, I think this game has a lot of potential. Um, and I'm not saying that because I got a free copy to play it. And uh, for full disclosure, I did get a free copy of this game. It was provided by Simpros. I, I actually am enjoying it. I think there's a lot more depth that could be done, probably a little bit more guidance in the menus, and that's probably coming in the release version. I like the depth that they've put into it, and I like, after reading some of the forums on this, some of the plans that they have and the dedication that they have to the project. So I'm going to stick with them. Uh, I'm not going to say this is a bad game, even with the technical issues, because games in this state are supposed to have technical issues. Uh, I want to present the game that I can, so just ignore the crashes that we had because this is this is like this is like really really early in the development cycle of the game. But with what they've done so far, I'm I'm extremely impressed. If you like statistical sports games, this might be a game you might very well be interested in. Uh, I'm very interested to see where it goes. I would like to know more about how to better increase my odds. I would like to know more about, you know, what causes the accidents. And I have a feeling playing it more will give me that insight. I'd like to make it through a whole season and see what happens. There's not a lot of description within the game itself as to what you're, what you're going to end up with. I realize it's points and driver standing and, and completing the most number of races, but you don't necessarily have to win all the races. As long as you score high enough, you still place. So that's a good thing, but we're nowhere near getting close to the top. So the learning curve on this is a little bit steep, which is good because that means you get to play it again, or you get to continue the season again and do better the next season by understanding what you did wrong. So there's a lot of things to remove the continued boredom of continuing to play the same game over and over and over again. You're not playing the same game. Uh, it's like fantasy football. Every game is a little bit different, because of how things worked out, not because of... Football's the same game every week. I mean, break it down. 
football fantasy leagues are, are the exact same game every week. A bunch of guys on a field throwing a ball around. At the basic level, it's the same everywhere, and it's the same game. And I know I'm probably going to make some sports guys mad, but it's true. There's nothing unique about the principles of the game from one stadium to another, even on the same day. Um, Circumstances that happen during the game are what make it unique. And in this, it's the same thing. Circumstances that happen during the league are what make each individual race unique. So even though you can be racing on the same track, there's different computer drivers with different skills and they've advanced different ways and things are not the same as they were in the previous Even in the previous race, sometimes somebody learns a new trick and they can just blow you away in an instant. But uh, you got to kind of try to balance those things and account for those things. And and that takes a lot of skill. And it's the same as in like fantasy football, trying to get the perfect team together. You can trade off your players. You can bring in a new guy. You can, you know, if you're not, you got two guys who are too close together and you could use a better, different skill set. You can bring in another guy. So that works out really well. So there's a lot of strategy in this game that you could use. So if you like racing, strategy games, uh, sports management games, I think a lot of those people will gravitate towards this game. And uh, if you don't think you are, if you don't recognize the name of the developers and you're not sure, uh, check out the store link on the Steam page and go to the. Mm-hmm. Uh, discussions in the forums and see that the developers are very involved in, in, in sharing their dream and what they want to do with this game. And it's it's really cool to read through there. So again, yes, the game crashed a couple times. Yes, the game is in beta. Uh, this is an early beta too. I don't think this is anywhere close to the release product that I'm playing at the moment. Uh, the game doesn't come out, and I believe it doesn't come out into even early access until next Well, three days from now, on the 9th, I believe it does. It's February 9th, if you're watching this too far in advance. So I'm going to call this video number one. We're going to come back after the next patch comes down, and we're going to give it another try and see if it does better. But this this, does have an excessive number of crashes. Uh, I'm not going to bother to debug it because they're probably going to release another client in three days. So there's no point in trying to fix this client if they've already got one in works. And by this point, if they don't have this fixed, me running debug and figuring out what's going on is is probably not going to help them. However, if the developers do watch this video and they do need some assistance troubleshooting things, be more than happy to help out. Just at this point, I really kind of think since I'm so late in the game, they've already got most of these bugs worked out, uh, or at least a handle on them. Uh, Probably the error reporting is sending things to them, so... Not a big deal either way. Anyway, I'm going to end this now. i got other things i got to do. But hey, this was the introduction to Redline Ultimate Racing. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it, at least what you got to see of it. I hope you give the game a look and check it out. I do not have a price point on this game right now because it has not quite been released yet. But uh, I'm not really even sure I'm supposed to be broadcasting this at all. But I did not see any NDA or time disclosure inside the NDA when I was issued the key. So I'm going to go ahead and put it out there because I don't see any... Well, when I looked on YouTube, I saw one video that was had nothing to do with this. So that's all I can think is that some people need to get out there and hype this game up. So that's, that's what I'm doing out here, getting out here, showing you what's going on. I kind of wish I could have followed the development process a little bit more through the stages, but um, I had a hard time getting the game to even record in the first place because of how the Windows modules are set up in the game. And maybe we'll get into the deep into into the what's causing this problem later. But I'm going to wait till the next patch and see what happens. And we'll come back and visit it. And that'll be video number two in this series. Uh, I don't know that I'm going to make a playlist for this yet. But if I continue playing, we definitely will. Until then, though, I'll see you guys later. Uh, Make sure you check out some of my other videos. Uh, If you want, there's a game you want me to play, let me know. And I will try to get it out there and get it done. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and end this. And I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.